We know that factors are whole numbers that can divide evenly into another whole number. When we're looking at the factors of two or more values, we're frequently looking for their greatest common factor, which is the largest factor that two or more numbers share. To find the greatest common factor of 18 and 30, we're going to start by finding their factor pairs. For 18, we know its first factor pair is going to be 1 times 18. Since 18 is even, its next factor pair is going to be 2 times 9. 18 is divisible by 3, so we know 3 is going to be part of a factor pair, and that would be 3 times 6. If we check divisibility rules, 18 is not divisible by 4, the next one would be 5, and 18 is not divisible by 5. From there, we would check 6, which is already on our list. Since our list is going to start to repeat, we know we have all of our factors of 18. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now we can look at our factors of 30. We know our first factor pair of 30 is going to be 1 times 30. Since 30 is even, we know we can also do 2 times 15. 30 is divisible by 3, so 3 times 10 would be another factor pair. If we check divisibility rules, 30 isn't divisible by 4, so next we would check 5. 30 is divisible by 5, so that brings us to the factor pair 5 times 6. 6 will be what we check next, but it's already on our list, so that tells us we're going to start to repeat and we have all of our factors of 30, which include 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Now we want to see which factors they have in common. 1 is a factor of both 18 and 30, so is 2. 3 is on both lists, as well as 6. But we're specifically looking for the greatest common factor. The greatest factor that they have in common is the 6. So that tells us the greatest common factor of 18 and 30 is 6. We can also find the greatest common factor of more than two values. To find the greatest common factor of 6, 36, and 48, we're going to start by listing out their factors. For factors of 6, we know that list is going to include 1 and 6. From there, we know the other factor pair of 6 is 2 and 3, so that completes that list. For factors of 36, we know we can start with 1 and 36. 36 is even, so that means our list is also going to include 2 and 18. 36 is divisible by 3, so our list is going to include 3 and 12. 36 is also divisible by 4, so there's 4 and 9. And then finally, 6 times 6 is 36, so there our list has met in the middle. For factors of 48, we have 1 and 48. It's even, so our list is going to include 2 and 24. 48 is divisible by 3, so our list is going to include 3 and 16. It's also divisible by 4, so we'll include 4 and 12. From there, 48 is not divisible by 5, but it is divisible by 6, so our list includes 6 and 8. Since 48 is not divisible by 7, we know we've met in the middle, and that includes all of them. Looking at common factors of all three values, 1 appears on all of those lists, so does 2. 3 appears as a common factor of all three values, as does 6. Now if we look from there, we see that 12 is on the list for 36 and 48, but it's not on the list for 6, so it can't be considered a common factor since all three values don't share it. That tells us the greatest factor that all three values share is 6. So the greatest common factor of 6, 36, and 48 is 6. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching!